going on everyone? I have a brand new movie review for you guys today and today I'm going to be discussing Serenity. If you guys are new here, consider hitting that like and subscribe button where you guys can get early movie reviews on this channel plus some other geeky content. Plus if you guys are also wanting to get into advanced movie screens, check out Sandwich on Films also down below. I'm talking about Serenity now. I don't know exactly how to talk about this film. I've had to take 24 hours before I sat down in front of the camera to really express how I feel about this movie. Serenity is a unique experience, and that's something that I can hands down give this film. It is one of the most unique, bonkers, and experimental ideas that have been out there for a while. Something I can always appreciate from the director and writer of this film, Stephen Knight. He's made Taboo. He's made Peaky Blinders on Netflix, the most underrated Netflix show right now. He was also director and writer of Locke, starring Tom Hardy, which that film takes place all in a car of just Tom Hardy driving. And it's a very experimental film, and the story in there is excellent. Now we get Serenity, which, by the synopsis, and even by the trailer, it's a pretty paint-by-numbers film. It's all the story of Matthew McConaughey. He plays a fisherman on Plymouth Island. And one day, his ex-wife comes out of nowhere to pay him $10 million to kill her now husband. It sounds like a Gone Girl scenario, and even from the trailer, it looks like a kind of Gone Girl thriller. For the most part, this film really was a thriller. For the most part, this film was that type of movie that you do get from the trailer until a twist happens midway through the film. And when that twist happens, the whole film turned out to be nothing that the trailer shows you. Nice, I mean, the trailer doesn't like, spoil what the film's actually about, but it also lies about what the film is about. I'd never really known about the trailer. I didn't watch the trailer until after I'd seen the movie because I wanted to see what people were getting marketed. I and I understand it. I don't know how you would market this film. I'm not going to spoil a twist. I... I don't want to even get into spoilers on it, so it's going to be a little bit hard to do this review. Again, this is more going to be kind of a, a ramble, kind of a rant, kind of just me expressing how I feel about the film, because a lot of the cons that I do have for this movie, with uh, some of it being within the performances, with how the film is shot, because the film's beautifully looked, but there's some shots that look really weird, and I'm just like, I don't get that. And there's some certain story details with some of the side characters in here, where I'm like, how does that character know that detail? But once that certain moment in the middle of the film happens, everything kind of went away. I was kind of like, okay, that actually explains every little detail in this film. To even the performances from Matthew McConaughey and Anne Hathaway themselves. Now, Matthew McConaughey and Anne Hathaway are Oscar caliber actors and actresses. I love them both. The performances in here, for the most part, if it wasn't for the twist, I would have been like, man... Matthew McConaughey, what is he doing? And same with Anne Hathaway, she's pretty much being a porn star. But uh, then that part in the middle of the film happens, and I'm like, well, I can kind of see why the director would have them playing their characters like this in this one-dimensional type of scenario. Again, it's so hard to talk about this film without spoiling it, but man, I think you guys are wondering, did I like this film or did I not? Well, I'll put it this way. This is, for me, a film that shoots for the stars and does not nail it precisely, but it is so bad that at times it is so damn entertaining. I can't express how much fun I would have had with this film if I was drunk. Even my friend who sat right next to me, we were having a blast with this film. Multiple times we said, what the F is going on? Multiple times he would look over and I was in tears from laughing. I almost had to walk out at one point because I was, I was about to legit get loud from laughing. That's what this type of film came off as for me. I was laughing my ass off the whole entire time in this film. There's one sex scene in here that I, I lost it. I lost it in this scene. The way it was shot, the way it was handled, the acting, the performances in it, everything in it. Just, I literally said to myself, what the f*** right now? And I had to pull my shirt up and start, and stop myself from laughing so hard. Really, that's, this is a movie. It's a weird Weird movie. As before I get to my final thoughts, let me know what your guys' thoughts are on this film. Did you guys see it yet? Are you excited for it? Let's talk about it down below. Serenity, in a sense, is a very weird movie. This is a film that is so bad that it's so good, at least for me. So we'll find its weird audience in kind of a cult realm down the road. Again, it's a weird film that is it shoots for the stars. I totally see what Steven Knight was trying to go for, but it didn't work. It is not room level bad, but in a sense, it's kind of my room. Like, I enjoyed this film for all the wrong reasons. I think it is worth seeing, 
because of not just the twist because it's it's not anything mind-blowing but it really is just worth seeing to have fun get your friends get drunk and go see this film and enjoy it. i feel bad for like someone who doesn't watch reviews and saw the trailer and was intrigued matthew mcconaughey and hathaway and they went to see this film and they're gonna walk out being like what the hell did i just watch you know i don't know exactly how you would have marketed this movie per se without spoiling what it's actually about but i think with some rewrites you could have easily made this subject and what the story is going for a little bit better and maybe tinkered throughout it i will even say again even though i didn't have that many cons for it because i understand what the director is going for and i didn't think what he was going for worked overall one of my big cons with the film is it is way too damn long and it felt that in some of the pacing towards the middle half of the movie and i don't necessarily know what to say about this film i don't even know exactly what grade to give it but i'm, I'm if i'm gonna have to give it a grade as a pure film i'd give this movie a c minus it's if I'm going to give it a Pope seal of approval, I'm going to give it an A plus for how damn crazy and how much fun I have with this film. I'm going to end up buying this on Blu-ray just to enjoy the hell out of it to myself and just show people how crazy this movie was. Oh my guys, did you guys get to check out this film? I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below. Again, I'm really curious to see the score on this. I only talked to a couple other critics that saw the film and really they either didn't like it or kind of got the same feeling that I got from it. I, I don't know how the audience is going to react to it. They, they might love this. I have no idea. This is a bonkers film. But guys, if you guys are even a fan of this film or even a fan of experimental stuff, go check out everything else that Stephen Knight has done. He is a great director and writer and I can't wait to see what the guy does next still. If you guys are new here, consider hitting that like and subscribe button. Check out Sandwich on Films. Leave a comment. Let's talk about some geeky stuff and I'll see you guys soon. Stay classy. <laughs>